Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati, and in this video, I will be talking about how to connect a blob storage using, using SaaS token in Azure Databricks. So before going to the video, I would like to introduce my channel, Geek Coders. They are upload videos on Azure Databricks, Azure Data Factory, SQL, Python, and so on. So if you're liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So now let me sh share my screen and uh, we will discuss about today's topic. Give me a moment. Yeah, I'm sharing now. And if I minimize it and doo -doo -doo. okay, fine. So let me open my notepad here. You can see I have it in the definition of I can I have it in the definition of SAS token. So SAS means shared access signature token is used to grant access to blob for anonymous users. This access can be time bound to a specific time range and actions like read, write, list, delete, and so on, or more to a specific file held within the blob storage. Suppose we have five files present in a container. I want to give access to the user for just two hours. What would you do? What would I do? So I will share, share the, share the, uh, container name, storage account name, and this SaaS token to the user. And I will say, okay, go and uh, do the perf do the actions. If you want to read, write, list, and so on, just do it. And after two hours, uh, your access will be revoked. Okay, so that's how we use this SaaS token. Now, let me open my yeah, we see, we have this blob storage. We can see blob geek coders. And here we have two containers, like ignore this. We have sync and source. And in source container, we have a couple of files present. You can see we have a couple of files or blob we can see, like we have testing underscore one dot CSV. We have XLS files, we have packet files and so on. Right, cool. Okay, and now what I want to do is that I want to load this data. Like, so for an example, I want to load the data from this testing.csv to the database. How would I do that using SaaS token? So if you can see here, we have this SaaS access token option, right? So let me go back a bit and in the main, like in the outer, uh, outer portal, outer page, you can see we have access keys and SaaS access signature, shared access signature. So I will click on it and what I will do, I will like, if you want to allow file, queue, table, and so on, then you can, you know, check these things. And here you can also check or uncheck this. So I'll check this for now. And here you can see we have a couple of permissions over here. So for now, I will just, just grant, grant access to the list, list the permission, okay. So just let me uncheck all these things. And you can see we have the start and expiry date. So today's date, like the start date is a today's date and the end date is the tomorrow's date. And we have a some time. So I guess it is valid for six, eight hours. Yeah, by default it is eight hours. If you want to, if you want to change, you can change it. And everything seems okay to me. And now just click on this generate SaaS and connection string. Now copy this SaaS token second wala and now open databricks paste it over here now if you want to you know if you want to connect your uh, data blob storage with uh, databricks using sas token then this is the one way what you can do like we can write this spark configuration setting option and then we can pass here sas key with the with the container name and the storage account name okay so it is on the crystal level Fine. Now, seems okay. Uh, so let me just copy this formula or syntax we can see. And here it is file storage dot Azure dot SAS. And here in the container, I will I have to write my container name and in the storage account name. Instead of this, I have to write my storage account name. Fine and copy this token pasted instead of SAS key. Just present this, cool. 
Now, if you remember, I have given only list, list axis, okay? So what I will do, I will copy this and I will write here dbutils.fs.ls and I'll just write it down here. And instead of container, I will write here source and instead of my storage account name, I will write this. Now just do control plus enter. Now you can see we can, you know, we can do a list of, of all these containers. Like if you can see like in the source container, we have this couple of files over present over there, like which I shown you before also. Now, what I will, what I will try to do is that I will try to load, not load, just read the data from of this file. Let's see, can we do that or not? So I will write here spark.read.csv, csv, and just do control plus enter. Oh, you can see here we got some error message. Okay. So uh, what I will do, I will try to give all these permission now, and then we will see whether we can able to read that read this file or not. Okay, so just click on generate SAS access token, copy this, click on it, change this thing. Fine. Test it again. You can see we can do, and if I, if I, if I run it, run it again, then we will see whether we can do or not. Yo, we can we can read this uh, file. So I will write here option header. Header is to okay. Header is to uh, close it and store in one of the df and then to just df dot show. Cool. Now what I want to do is that I want to write this data also into the location, into the same container with different file. So I am using a mode override. Okay, you can write it down anything like based on your requirement. And then here I will write df.write.mode and format. So I want to store this file in the packet format and then use save method, copy the same thing. Okay, copy the same thing and give some file name, let's say testing underscore output. Output. Let's see, let's see like what will happen. It is loading, it is loading and loading. Oh, it got succeeded. Now go back to this blob storage, click on the containers, click on this container, go to source, go to source, and then, 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 then you can see we have this testing underscore output. Now what I will do, if I try to show you the data, I we will see, no, okay, the entering is not, okay, leave it. So what I can do, I can show you, I can show you in this way. So copy this path, copy this path and just do df is equal to spark. Oh, sorry, spark dot read, my keyboard not working, park it pass this thing and then do df dot show. See, we have the same data, okay, which is present in testing dot CSV. So I hope like you have understood this concept and uh, like we have multiple ways to connect with the blob, we have account key, access key, and like 
we have multiple things and you know move over to this we can create a mount point with the help of uh, service principle and so on so we will like i will try to create video on top of those topics also give me some time sometimes you know it takes a lot time to uh, you know to create these kind of videos and you guys are liking my content that is very good for me and uh, in future also i will be creating more videos on sql more videos on sql python python interview questions pyspark interview questions and then i will be uh, uploading videos on logic app and so on so just give me some time i'll try to make this channel very good in coming days maybe one two months i will try to you know upload more and more content to this and uh, yeah for that uh, like that's it for this video and i hope you have underst understood this topic how to load data from the uh, you know containers uh, with the help of this sas token in database and uh, yeah so thank you